just something I throw together that's uh, uh, me. I normally carry more more stuff than this. Let's see. I got some water purification tablets, which uh, also can be used for first aid because water purification tablets, of course, are made out of iodine. You can take one of them tablets and put it in your hand, put your little bit of water in it, mush it up, and then you got reconstituted iodine. Yeah. All right. Of course, you need you some string, of course. Me and a, a lot of people, a lot of people here, uh, you know, we're not into eating the meat, but I tell you what, I follow God's plans. You know, if it's got fins and scales, I got me some fishing line, a couple of hooks. You know, I'm not going to starve to death if there's fish sitting over there. I might even, I got me a little signal mirror. Got some sunlight. You can go. Come in, say I've got a knife. I've got a couple all purpose, cost a dollar a piece at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. Ponchos, yep. plastic, Always. making shelter and making a water stool, which we'll see in a little while. Mm. Got a little mini first aid kit. I got me some gauze and some tape, plus some antiseptic, of course, mm -hmm. dual purpose. Good. A little compass. Huh. I've got some matches here. Waterproof thunder? Coming to that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't steal All the thunder, right, this man. Is no, uh, <laughs> trust me, this is no satanic ritual but uh <laughs> you don't have to use tangerine zest okay <laughs> we like that it cost a dollar at the dollar store yesterday <laughs> but <laughs> get your strike anywhere matches uh-huh get you some wax oh uh, you know how you get wax you just gotta burn a candle right uh -huh. i was gonna light this before i started so i'd have some wax already melted mm. so we could show you but you make your waterproof matches all you got to do is set this somewhere you just dip it in, you know, get you some wax, but of course, before you start dipping in there, blow the, you know, the flame out, and then dip one half in, pull it out, let it dry, dip the other half in, because of course it's a, act like a wicking action if it get into the water. Then if you ever want to start a fire, go around. This is the easiest way to start a fire, okay? Rubbing two sticks together, <laughs> using a magnifying glass, this stuff is tough. You can't use a magnifying glass today. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, the last class that we had, believe it or not, Dr. Thrash, uh, she got us a fire going she with a magnifying did. glass. She did. Yeah. Uh, she said she, she used a prism or something. She used a magnifying. She used my little magnifying glass I got in here. Wow. Of course, I have no uh, idea about this. Yeah, this is the one. Cool. She's still got the mud and everything all over. <laughs> we'll use a magnifying glass. Of course, we probably won't be able to do it today. Huh. But, uh, these are some, you know, so simple things you can even, you know, you could you can bring your weight down by getting a smaller roll mm -hmm. of tape, you know. You some people might not put that in there, you know, the size of your knife. Isn't uh that cool? this little knife right here that I put in. Well, I got a bunch of little knives and stuff. This is like a little tool. It's got like a little serrated edge on it, a pair of pliers. Uh -huh, like a multi-tool. Like a little small multi-tool. You can go big and and you know get something crazy like this you know a, a bigger one you know it's got a bigger set of pliers you can pop it out got all kind of crazy stuff in there a file and but I mean it's a lot of extra weight if you take a knife if you put a knife in your kit that's not a multi-tool I would suggest that you get a lock blade knife a knife that the blade locks for simple reasons. Mm. You might have to use a lot of cutting. You don't want to close on your hand because you've just done what? <laughs> you've just injured yourself mm. and you just caused more stress on yourself. You don't want you know you don't want that to happen. Let's try this out real quick. Just dip her on in there. Oh, wow. But you know, of course you'd want to, you know, if oh, you get it melted down, you could put the whole match in there. Take a couple of them out, let them dry, put them back in the box. You can even put these in like a another Ziploc zip bag mm -hmm. inside that ziplock bag, mm -hmm. no but uh, of course you can always make your you know your kit a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. However you want this mm -hmm. stuff right here, you can yeah, buy this stuff it? like at Walmart or whatever. This is a military type. This is a, 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 a heat tab is what we call it in military. It's a trioxy compressed like trioxy ration heating and heating tab. It's just a uh, it's flammable. You light it and you can heat like meals and stuff on it and stuff like that. But it's good for starting a fire. It's one time use though, right? Oh yeah, oh, you oh. open it up and it starts burning. It's like alcohol and some other stuff. It's oh. got it's some it's got three different types of fuel in it. Trioxy. So all you have to do is open it. You don't You open it up and no, you're gonna have to fire you it up when it. you light it up. But what I'm saying is that is it would be a lot easier to light if you had it on mm -hmm. than trying to light some grass and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You can break you off a little piece of it, reset it up, strike your match, mm -hmm. get it to go and then 
so you start building your fire from there. You know, no, you just as long as you seal it up, the air will make it evaporate, of course. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's mm -hmm. why it's made out of a foil pack. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're going to stick your foil pack in your bag. You want to soften the corner so you don't rip a hole in it. Make your, you know, mm -hmm. little bag not waterproof anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. That's just a little kit there I want to show you. What's that called? The little...